Hi everyone, I'm Harlan Hutchison and thanks for joining us on our Ask the Expert series. Today we're on 8th Avenue in West Plains at the uh, home and office of Marty Simpson of Simpson Estate and Elder Planning. And today we're going to talk about a variety of subjects as Marty will help you understand a little bit better uh, life care and uh, also long-term planning and how with a uh, five-year plan in place you may be able to uh, save up to 100% of your assets and uh, talk about how this could also affect your long-term care and when you can no longer afford to stay at home. So let's join Marty as he talks with one of his clients. Well, thank you for coming in today, Sharon. I know that you have lots of questions and when we talked on the phone, you had had some questions about um, long-term planning and, and a life care plan for, for you and your husband. One of our goals here is to be sure that you and your husband are getting the type of care you need based on um, where you're living. So that if you're still at home, you're getting the type of care you need at home. And if you need to be in an assisted living facility that, that you can pay for that and get that type of care. And, and eventually if you needed to be in a nursing home that, that we can help you pay for that um, and get the, the level of care you need. So, Sharon, do you have any questions or concerns that I can help you with today? I'm getting older and I want to be sure I won't leave a mess for my sons. Should I put my sons on the deed or the bank account? I never suggest that you put your children on the deed for your property or your bank accounts. If you do so, then they become co-owners and if they pick up some type of liability, they're in a car accident and, and are involved in a lawsuit, or they declare bankruptcy or get in a divorce, something like that, then your property is subject to, to their liability then. Um, there's always a better way to protect your property without putting your kids on the, on the bank account with you. Can I transfer the house to the children now? You could go ahead and transfer your real estate to your kids or to somebody else, and that does start the five-year clock. After five years, that property would be completely safe for Medicaid, and you could, you could go to a nursing home. However, you would pick up your children's liability on that property. During that time, if they were in an accident or in a divorce or had some other problems, your property could be subject to their liability. A better way to do that is to transfer that property to an irrevocable trust. What happens if I can't make my own decisions? Well, part of our overall life care planning is helping you set up agents that will make decisions for you. And while you're healthy, you can choose who you want to make decisions for you if you can't make them for yourselves. And you need to look at, at agents both to make healthcare decisions for you and someone to make financial or business decisions for you. And it doesn't have to be the same person. Sometimes you trust somebody with your life, but not your money. And other times you trust them with your money, but not your life. But you need to think about what agents you would have make those decisions for you if you couldn't we would prepare um, two types of powers of attorney for you. You would have a healthcare power of attorney for someone to make healthcare decisions for you and a financial power of attorney for somebody to make business or financial decisions for you. I am worried I may have to go to a nursing home. Is there something I can do where they won't take my house? Medicaid has their five-year look-back period, so if you transfer the property out of your name and get five years behind you, then that property is completely safe from Medicaid. And you could go to a nursing home and Medicaid could then and pay for that nursing home for you. How can I pay for the nursing home? Well, there are three ways to pay for a nursing home. You can private pay at between $140 and $190 a day. You can have insurance, which if you don't already have long-term care insurance, you're probably not going to be eligible for it now. Or you try and get Medicaid to pay for it. And part of our planning process is to help you um, protect your assets so that you will qualify for Medicaid while protecting those assets for, for your children and grandchildren. Okay, and if I should go, how would my husband pay for me going to the nursing home? So according to Medicaid rules, a married couple, when one of the, the, your spouse goes to the nursing home, you get to keep the house. The house is completely safe. As long as you're married and you remain out of the nursing home, that's not a problem. 
for a single person, it, it's much more of a concern on what you do with the house. Mm -hmm. However, even for a married couple, if he were in the nursing home and you were to predecease him, we need to think about how you would pass the house um, without his Medicaid then taking control of the house. We want to thank Marty Simpson from Simpson Estate and Elder Law for joining us on this version of the Ask the Expert series. If you'd like to talk to Marty, his office is just off the square on 8th Avenue in West Plains. Their phone number here is 256-1968.